Is Record Store Day a ripoff? I appreciate what they're trying to do. I mean, the whole idea is to get people into the record stores, to walk around, see what there is to offer, pick up some things, get the record store going, keep the business going. And let's face it, we're a lot of the music fans, it, it's really sad for us to see all these great record stores that have gone in the last 10, 20 years. So to me, the whole idea of Record Store Day is, is great, but what's the reality of Record Store Day? So you, you go to their website or you see something on Facebook and you get excited. Maybe there's that rare Stooges record and you want to go and you look through the list and there's a few other things on there that you want. So you make your list and you count down the day. In fact, if you go to the website for Record Store Day, they even have a counter on there counting down the to the minute when the record store day opens so you you plot it out and you contact your favorite store and you find out when are they open you, you get this whole ritual going and you show up and i don't know where you live but in michigan it's always freezing cold so either it's it's the day after thanksgiving black friday which is uh, an insanity all in its own right that we won't discuss here but um Either it's that or it's right before Easter. Both times you're standing in 20, 30 degree weather in a long line with a bunch of dudes. And once in a while you get the millennials parents who are shopping for their millennial kids, which is, you know, obviously disturbing in its own right. So you're standing in this line and you wait and you got your coffee and it's freezing and you're waiting for the door. And then finally it opens and you rush in and there's a frenzy because because record store day releases are limited edition to add to the to the whole excitement of the day. Well, you get in there and you got your list and you got your Bajas and your Dead Kennedys and your Kinks and you look and people are grabby grabby all over the place, grabbing every record that they could find. And you might walk out of there with maybe two or three records. You get to the register and oh my God, the you know, you get charged two hundred dollars for a small stack of records, and you you get in your car and you drive home and you and you look at what you bought and you go, "Geez, did I just get ripped off?" I mean, this whole the whole premise of this, the excitement behind it, the scarcity, the overpriced records, and then you look at what you have and there's not really much to say. I mean, some of the records they put out rare material. Like one year, I got a. Stooges record and it had some rare tracks from the raw power era. That's really a kind of a cool record. That's probably like on the on the on the win side for record store day. But a lot of times I, I I get a record and it has maybe two songs on it. You know, they spread it out on a on a 12 inch record and there's two songs. You know, it's a collectible, but you know, do I open it? Should I open it? If it's a collectible, I mean it's not going to be worth anything if you open it. It's not going to be like you can't store it, you can't show it off if it's if it's open. But if you do open it, and here's the other other aspect of where I feel like we're cheated. You play the record, and it doesn't sound very good. A lot of these records are reproductions. You know, you, you get a, a reproduction record of something super rare. The faces, you know, that, oh, I've been looking for this forever. And you play it and it just sounds flat. Like, like are, are they are these rush production records? I mean, when when they when they're doing when they're creating these records, do they have the same level of quality that they had years ago? It doesn't seem like it. And then I wonder how many of these releases are created with with a CD as a master? Because they definitely sound flat, and some of them even have that loudness war sound to them. So between the over overprices and the hysteria and not getting what you want and the whole collector's market aspect of it, I, I wonder, you know, is it even worth it to go to record time, especially when you feel dirty when you leave, like like you just got taken advantage of? You know, and then let's okay, let's talk about the whole premise of Record Store Day, which is to get the sales going. How many people Go there, stand in that line, and then linger in the store buying all kinds of things. I don't really see it. The people grab whatever they can, run to the register, and they're out the door. They don't 
walk around the store. They're not buying anything. And some of them probably only come once every, you know, every time there's a record store day. They might be listening to digital music on Spotify and then once in a while going into the record store. And then let's talk about the demographics. Wouldn't it be great if you're bringing in new customers like young people who could be a whole new demographic? I don't see it. When I stand in line, there's a bunch of dudes in their 40s and 50s who used to buy records when they were new during the era of records and later tapes, obviously. But this seems to be the core audience. I don't see the, you know, the 18-year-olds or the 22-year-olds standing in line for this stuff. And look at the records that they're coming out with. Are they even aimed at those people? Do you see any any records that they're listening to being put out? I I really don't. I mean, maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe it's the area that I'm that I'm shopping in. I'm not really sure. It'd be good to get some data on this, but um, let me know in the comments section what you think. Do you think Record Store Day is worth it? Is it a scam? Uh, do you think that um, it's better just to skip it and maybe enjoy the records that you have or look for the original records? Do you think that the level of quality is there? Are they just rushing production with this stuff just for a big money grab? I mean, do you think that the record stores are really getting anything out of this? Are they getting these mad, mad margins on this? Or are they getting, you know, slim margins and then disappearing customers only to, you know, maybe appear another year, a year from now? Um, so let me know what you think. I think this is a, a interesting topic. No one's really talking about it. And maybe for good reason. Maybe maybe I should even not question it and just let it let it happen. I don't know. Is, is there a, a net good that's happening here that, that maybe... Um, you know, maybe I have it all wrong. So let me know what you think.